Hi everyone, Number Marty Fan here, playing Baldur's Gate. The cat has knocked the hard drive out of my laptop. Two streams in a row, two streams in a row, destroyed by my cat. I have physical objects blocking the hard drive this time that are, that'll make it look uncomfortable to her. Maybe we can ward the cat. What level spell would that be? Protect hard drive from Theo. <laughs> Let me open up the chat and enjoy some uh, totally not Skyrim music. It's completely different from Skyrim. Okay, last time we found out that Paladin Oaths are complete bunk. Uh, I attacked a evil ogre guard. Apparently, because he's a guard, the game counts him as being a preserver of law and order. So as far as the ones and zeros are concerned, I murdered a police officer and have broken my oath. I think uh, in, in the universe, I think the explanation is going to be that I probably just didn't follow the rules of engagement. Yeah, there are a bunch of cannibals torturing and murdering people and planning to torture and murder a bunch of people tomorrow, but I shouldn't have used sneak, sneak tactics on them. So that's the explanation I'm going with. I think what the cat screwed up is I was uh, infiltrating and talking to some people when she knocked the hard drive out. So I lost that, but I saved immediately before that. That See, <laughs> see and when you have a cat, you live to save frequently while playing RPGs. <laughs> She's not around this time. I think she's napping for, for once. May, maybe I can do it. The cat's distracted, guys. This is my chance to be a real gamer. Zuberstaz, it's funny how, uh, Zuberstaz is here. It's funny how Paladin without breaking oath is essentially no different from Barbarian. The only difference is Barbarian starts the fight. Meanwhile, Paladin has to get people to fight him first. Okay. That, that's a little annoying to me because it feels like there ought to be situations where, of course, I'm allowed to invade and start fighting. Right, but the, I guess the idea is because you're an honorable knight, you can't ever sneak up on anybody ever. Well, that, that's the other weird thing, is I've sneak attacked a million people with the Asterion, and apparently that's not a problem, so I really don't know what the game logic is, which is kind of what's triggering to me. Like, I don't know, I know what the game thinks I did wrong, but I don't know how to fix it in the eyes of the game. Uh, let's put Bernard up front. Do be do be do be do be do. This is going to be a redemption arc for Bernard. We're going to send him on his journey, and then uh, he's going to, uh, you know, go through the Valley of Sorrows. And he's going to come out a stronger and even more paladin man. Let's check over here. Erna. Wouldn't go in there. Lest you fancy blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's Gate. You're cute. You're definitely not intimidating. Nothing for you in there, mate. Now see, if I like open the door and they attack me, is that enough? Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. <laughs> oh, and the and the gnome is more pissed at me too, so she's not gonna give you a good discount. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears. The winged serpent of the Zentarim. You're no normal trader, are you? You're part of the Black Network. Uh, what business is someone like you having a goblin? Let me see. Let, let's talk to her. You're no normal trader, are you? You're part of the Black Network. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader. Just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just... Good deals and bad. That problem for you? Uh, you sent Zentrum trend to trade in misery. That's why you're at a goblin camp? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Slaves you're buying, not prisoners. What do goblins want smoke powder for? What do you know about Moonrise Towers? I knew the Zent were heartless, but the goblin slave trade, really? Oh, dry your eyes, ill mater. It's me or a goblin cookpot. I know which I'd choose. No, much obliged for the chat, but I'm here to trade. Leave. You trade Asterion and ungroup from me when you do it. 
happened to the what, does, what business does someone like you have a guy from camp? Are you joking? Did ah. this crowd converted? No. Okay, I heard that. I just what? Ooh. To cover the loss ten times over. What do the goblins want smoke powder for? Ask the drow they're all bowing to. That glint in her eye is bad news for someone. Not my concern, so long as I'm paid. Speaking of, something to trade or what? Let me see your wares. All right, let's get rid of it and then save. Because I don't want to carry a bunch of gunk. Oh, here comes Luna. Is this the end of the stream, guys? Is she going to do it again? Well, Luna, why don't you sit over here? Over here. Far away. Look at this. Look at this big, soft chair I have put here just for you, Luna. Far away from the laptop. Isn't it amazing? Yes. The plan is working. No. No. You don't belong on the desk. That's the rule. You're not going to be on the desk anymore, cat. You're going to be right there on the chair where it's cozy. Eh, don't need a mace. <laughs> Sell his underwear? Nah, that's too cool. I got to hold on to that. I don't need another ignoble hat, do I? Sterion has all the silly hats. Yeah, he's currently wearing an ignoble hat, so we can get rid of this one. In it. <laughs> Wait, does he read Shakespeare in D&D universe? They have that? Do I really need dye? I don't think I'm ever going to futz with the, uh, the costumes at all. That was cool about it is I found it at like a camp, right? So it's like they just stuck a rare item sitting around in a camp to, to reward people like me who had to check everything. We'll let, we'll, we'll let Bernard be the weapon collector. Ins oh, wow. I bought her out. Okay. Well, let's buy some stuff from her. All right. Now she's rich again and I'm poor again. So let's sell stuff again. Thanks for buying all my junk. Uh, Zoomer says, speaking of Shakespeare, Mongols exist in D&D. The Horde lands this entire region of the world that just have the Tweegan, who are just Mongolians. Nothing fantastical, just Mongols. Yeah, they just like, normal people just like showed up there. I think I heard about that in one of uh, Mr. Rex's videos. What does rupturing do? Take one to four uh, piercing damage when moving. Each time you move, reduce the condition duration by one. Yeah, let's just hurt people, you know? Okay, now apparently there's like a thing where you can give wizard scrolls and they can like copy it or something. So I'm going to make sure Gale has some scrolls so I can try to play around with that later. Who's here? Excuse me. I love that. I love Paladin Owns until I found out how weirdly they're enforced. Uh, DZD. I decayed it's still canon, but I remember the origin of humans is DD and DDs. They were brought to the Forgotten Realms from Earth. Uh, and then DeKronk says, best part of the class on table. Oh, I love Paladins. Yeah. I I'm pissed because the game did this weird thing where it was letting me kill a bunch of goblins and then one of the ogres I killed, it decided that NPC was a non-combatant, and then it instantly broke my oath. And it's just like weird. I, I gotta clip it, because it's hilarious, because it's me finding out that they're actually ticked at me about this. I am not gonna let you do this again. No. The rule is, you don't belong on the desk. There. Thrilling content. Me sorting item. Yeah, all of this cannibal food. Let's sell the cannibal food if we can. Do you happen to know any cannibals who might buy this stuff? A burrow hole? Man, we need a Hobbit. Another Hobbit location. Yeah. The future play playthrough idea. Ooh. Why use the door where we can just hop over? Hippity hop. No, really? Yeah, you can make that. Somewhere we're not supposed to be. Okay. I'll wait to loot until after I've solved the NPC problem. I've broken my O's, might as well go for broke. You know, apparently, minor crimes against cannibals. That's what the, the, the there's nothing to paladin gods can't stand more than that. All right, all right, right, we're in. So we're getting deeper and deeper onto the underground part of the temple. And presumably a, a priestess lives here? Shoot. Oh, crap. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. So sorry, I thought this was the way to the latrines. I'll be off then. Try to convince them you belong here. Try to buy... I, I thought this was the way to the latrines. Okay, they are pissed at us until we officially declare war, I guess. So instead of sneaking around, let's go declare war. Let's handle this like a paladin and just sort of stupidly introduce ourselves to the problem. Whoa, okay, how did I do this before? You did this before. Hi. I've already heard this. I serve only my oath. I will not bear your brand. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. 
a familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Sever the connection. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Us true souls, you disgust me. I swear no fealty to your god. Let's rip him apart. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to attack, uh, uh, to equip all my new stuff. Of course I did. Can we get him into a hiding spot? Maybe. They will know a bit ah, perfect. Well, of course, you know, what else will I do but Eldritch Blast? Now they'll have to get past my fighters to get to my range guys. Whoa, Siri. He's trying to use telekinesis on the statue to drop it on Bernard. Great. Got her, okay. Find a cure. We don't accept help from monsters. Well, I was thinking about how I should say <laughs> magic missile. It always hits. One, two, three. Man, I love it. I see why people meme about it so much. Come on, guys. Gathering dr Oh, he's going to summon more dudes. What? A whole bunch. And there are more coming. Okay. Let's have uh, Bernie get into... Oh, and I also have haste. Nice. Get into that person's grill. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Bernard. I mean, not enough movement. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, because of the stupid drum. There. Sometimes movement's a little weird. Gain advantage on your next attack roll. Two turns. Uh. I mean, I guess it would be better. I guess this is actually like a rare situation where true strike is actually useful. Try to get some advantage. Oh, it's against just a dude. I get advantage against one dude. Ah, I thought it would be like for anybody. Oh, that's terrible. And I can't even reach the destination. Wow. Blind leading the blind. Let's just do it. Asterion is still the MVP. Ah, uh, he needs some healing. How about... Vampire bite. Happy. He's happy and she's bloodless. Nice. Until long rest. So I got to use that a lot. That's great. Oh, is, the, is there shit like there? Darkness. Okay. So it's a little pit of darkness. It's not a condition. It's an area. I guess what that means is he can't see through the darkness. Yeah, it's like there's a cloudy area in front of him. Okay. There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. Oh, that's my uh, guide, Santa Claus. Oh, come on, I'm clearly fighting you. It never knows whether I'm supposed to be in con. Keys. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. So do I trust Santa Claus or is Santa Claus just a myth? There's something of value here. Something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Ah, uh, welcome to the tadpole's influence. The tadpole is toying with you. Resist it. Force your mind shut. You will not be an influence. I'm going to use strength. Sorry, Santa. I don't buy these. I don't buy these aliens are good guys. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. 
Uh, Zoom or Stasi says Darkness Fog is a lot more intuitive than Pathfinder. You can use spells related to fire or whatever. Is that what it says? To dispel darkness and fog. Respect? Yes, yeah, so what I didn't get is. It's all right. Thanks, Santa. You know, if you can prove you're not evil, I'm totally down for having you be my guide. But for now, I'm not sure. So that's the that's the thing in this game. I don't have enough information to make a, cor a correct choice. Who's evil? Who's lying to me? Ooh, priestess's key. Rancid note. Tons of stuff. Let's just take it all. Absolute's talisman. A. Level 2 abjur abjuration. Tons of good stuff. It seems like discounts go disappear over time. So if you like... When they're really happy, you save the town, you get a 25% off discount, and then like one day later, yeah. And then two days later, you're your old news buddy, no more discounts for you. So you're encouraged to like do all your buying and selling as quickly as possible. All the junk uh, I've sold them. Wow. All right, I don't have enough money, so let's go to camp. Sylvanas be with you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, let's go to camp and let's talk to the ladies. Hey, ladies, uh, you're going to uh, come with us to sell some stuff. We're going shopping, ladies. Isn't that great? Oh, and this increases their hit point maximum by five points until long runs. Okay, so it's a temporary boost. I should just, like, come and grab these guys, have them use their spell slots, then bench them, and then go out with all these buffs. Okay, she's not messing with the hard drive. She's messing with the laptop. She's not a, she's not a very well-behaved cat. Here, a temple placed to one side of the image... Uh, relegated out of the immediate eye line by the display of a burning light at the center. Can we inspect it? Examine. Okay. Forgotten temple. Rich blankets of grass walked up the slopes, shivering softly. Examine. Yes, let's enjoy the art. Okay, now we can sell it. Okay, tough letter. Written in a regular scrawl, this letter offers an olive branch. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city. Not while you have your lungs looking for me. Not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where uh, M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. Oh, okay. I'm going to hold on to that. Graveyard and M. Kerwin. Soft letter. Excited looping letters fill this message of hope and love. Davin. It's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can get leave. Love, Flora, and Davin Jr. Oh, I bet this is off one of the innocents who uh, they killed. Personal note. A tight, professional memo written with care. I should read these right away rather than wait. <coughs> wait, because I know what dead body I got it off of. Gomwick. Be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. <coughs> I've received more reports of attacks on travelers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. Watch yourself. Better late than ever. Postmaster General Donzo. How ironic. And then he ended up dead. Oh, he offers Will a 25% off discount. All right. He likes Will. Valley with Brook. Did I see this one? In this scene, a brook flows over stones into a large river cutting in like a misty serpent through the series of sloping valleys. I don't know if I looked at this one. Okay, yeah, always have Will trade. Will gets the best discount because he's so flippin' charismatic. <laughs> I'm one away, one away from being able to afford a Revivify potion. It's clearly like some kind of weird hit. Like I'm gonna find a puzzle where I can find this guy's grave. Healing. Wait, who'd she heal? What did that do? Oh, I've got to get her to stand kind of like in the middle of everybody. Yeah, she can do all this great healing stuff at the camp, though. We don't need her to bring her into a fight. We'll just do it here. We should journey separately for now. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the healing. That's what you're good at. Uh, let's get Sundaray back. Speak. Yeah, and we still have the temp hit points. This is so cheesy. I love it. We'll just have uh, Done. we'll just have the cleric cheese us to maximum potential. Oh dear, sell the dwarf leg. Laser, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? Oh, I want to hear this. I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? <laughs> mm, no, 
not exactly, but you answered my question. <laughs> He's a do-gooder. Okay, hydration complete. Hey, I want to check out that weird spot upstairs that I couldn't check out earlier because I was waking up the guys by banging on it. Here we go. A cracked wall. So my question is... Legending. How tough, how does sturdy is sturdy? Does that mean I'll just never be able to break through? There we go. Sometimes it hits. Hey, 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 collapsed corridor. Well, this would be nice for sneak attacking if uh, I was allowed to do that according to my oaths, but I'm not. Ooh, okay, that's weird. Like a little creepy portrait. Is that what the dwarf poem was talking about? There's a moon. You know, I wish if it was a Asterion, they'd show me more than just what's immediately in front of a Asterion. the chest? Hey, that's nice. Like a shield that looks like the moon. And stars. It's, it, it's clearly the stuff that was referenced in that poem. And it said, like, never let the moon shine on it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll just mark this on my map for now. Stow curse. Stinking cloud. Okay. A fart magic. This fine engraving on this sumptuous cake stand are barely visible, unless it catches the light just so. Silver glass. Silver cups are the favored vessel when making offers of milk to Salune. Some folk even believing the metal to be moon maiden, the moon maiden's heart and tears. Okay. There we go. What is Dark One's Blessing? When I kill someone, right? Gain temporary hit points equal to its charisma modifier and war alcohol spell combined. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is that? Spying Eye. Crud, they got some like weird stuff. All right. Well, let's sh shoot someone. Why not? I have the high ground. He doesn't quite know what to do. Scrut. Goblin boss. Okay. He's going to be able to get up in our grill. Hello. Oh, he's going to shove one of us? Ooh, okay. He tried to shove one of us. That could have been risky. Mm, okay, this isn't that great because we're all each other's way. I've had it with diplomacy. Interesting. Now let's talk to that one. Grockle. Faithful of... Oh, Maglubia. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Had you land yourself in that cage, pray to whomever you want, it's a free world. Gormless, I'm not the one behind bars. Maglobiet's a tyrant. Your people are better off without him. Maglobiet's looked out for me since I was near eye to a walk pup. Bollocks to this absolute, I say, and bollocks to you and all. You think this is funny? I'll be the one laughing when things turn ugly. Safer in here, and I dare. Ooh. A hero at heart. And we'll get in, get through to this guy. Praise is ever You know McLovian. Trying to interrupt my prayers. Scared of a real god. Pray to whoever you want. It's a free world. Oh, that's rich. A free world? And how come I'm locked up like a bloody elf? I'll tell you why. Because I'm loyal to McGlubbyet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. I assume you mean the Absolute, Master Pickle. The Absolute, the other goblins seem to love it. I assume you mean the Absolute. Yeah. My O 
whole tribe's fallen for this shite. Traitorous bastards. The great absolute brings us together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braiding one another's ear. <laughs> it's a load of sight. Kids these days and their mind flayer gods. You don't like people mixing with outsiders. Seems to be working out pretty well. You don't like people mixing with outsiders. Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom all. I'll wait it out in air, praying to a real god. Hey man, you're racist. We're racist against goblins. I think we could get along. Do you, do you want to join my party? <laughs> you think this is funny? It's like a prerequisite to join the guy crew to be a slightly ra slightly racist. Oh no, Gail's not here. Shh, guys, we can't talk about guy stuff for the girls. Yeah. Huh, drinking, okay. In front of a giant chasm, but that means I wouldn't get their items. Oh, a rat. Hey, Will. Will, Will, Will. Do you have speak with animals on? Oh, okay. Really? How'd they see me? Let's have a little fun. Ooh, okay. He can see us. All right. He counts as one of them. But he shouldn't be reporting on us. Come on. Hello. Okay, look. More moon phases, right? Okay, so we need maybe silver because that's the symbol of Sulune. Or we need to shine a light on it or something like that. Like, obviously something's going on here with the moon phases. Full moon, new moon, waxing, waning. Okay. Hey, Rat, could you tell me more than maybe like there are, there are things that shine? Light. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to try this. We can use it as a cantrip. So Luna, as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. <laughs> Not your usual haunt, I take it? Quite the understatement, <clears throat> but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Get used to it, sweetheart. Fiesta. There. Bernard is holy and full of light. Okay. If we turn, put the light onto something and then light up the rat and then throw it, maybe? I'll try that. Can I have him pick him up? Throw. Path. Why can't I throw it down the path? Oh, it's driving me nuts. Sure, why not? You feel the rat's impatience to wriggle between the cracks in the floor to the safe... The cracks in the floor to the safe space between. Can we dig? Can we dig there? All right. I have a shovel. <laughs> And then the most valuable item in the whole game. Ah, it's driving me nuts. There's something safe in the floorboard. What's bugging me is the rat is thinking it's right here, right? So if the rat <laughs> thinks it's safe space is right here, then this is where I should be looking. <laughs> okay, maybe there's two parts to the puzzle. Like maybe you have to do something in one room and then come back here. Oh, a stool, how nice. Let's just sit here. Oh, all the dead guys. Okay, it reloads and then they die. Ah. There's your rags, Len. Okay. Does everybody here know that I'm a piece of shit now? Let's save and try it. Yeah, I think they're all pissed at us now. They see us and they attack on sight. Oh, what about... Oh, I've used all of her magic for the day. Okay. No, this guy's self. Let's try a drow. They might like that. she do a little negotiation? No? Yeah, it's just treating them as enemies now. Okay. Kind of an interesting idea. No, it looks like it's got to be the direct approach. Okay, I'll just have Bernard walk in and say hi. So once you get rid of... Uh, once you basically tell the priestess to uh, saw it off, then the, the entire group sees you as an enemy and goes for you. Okay. Well, you going to do anything? He's going to run to us. I wish they would... Oh, oh, he's getting up high. Oh, that stinker. Rage. Okay, he's like a barbarian. Oh, opportunity attack. Okay. 
Ooh, okay, opportunity spell. Let's just use the attack. Concussive smash on Shadow Heart, oh no. Holy shit! What happened? Why did it skip over Asterion? This guy's marauding us. Holy cow. Good grief. Okay. He's like throwing us all over the battlefield. I don't even know where Will is. He just like teleported me into nowhere land. What? <laughs> did I just clip out of bounds? Or did he throw me down here? Okay, so Will's base, uh, Steron's basically useless. This is nuts. All right, well, let's uh, take my medicine. I picked a fight with the big bad evil guy. Now he's back up here. This this is ridiculous. <laughs> Holy cow! He's like flipping us all over the battlefield and killing and one hitter quitting us all. Okay, Will's trapped down there. And everyone else is basically dead. Uh, I think that's a loss, guys. And they're not going to be able to find him because he either clipped or got thrown out or something. I don't know what happened to him. He, had to, he, he I think he, the repulsor shoved him and then he fell down a cliff into that. Draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. Okay, don't walk up and say hi. That's what happened. Yeah, I got knocked down there. Environmental turn? How do they see us? Oh, okay, they can see just through the gigantic uh, hill there. Ah! No, and, we're, and I'm brightly lit up, yeah. Okay, let's lead him out here and try to wail on him from up, here, up there. And the only reason I have her on was so I could use light once. She's my least favorite fighter. See, if you can just get to it, they let you run up it. Reckless war cry. Are they going to come for us? They just start hanging out. Come on, guys. We're over here. Yes, 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 yes. We Ognat. Great. Okay. The, come out and meet us here, and then don't mess us up with your one-hitter quitters. Oh, she's just throwing a bunch of rocks at us. Okay. Come on, dude. Come and say hi. We're all waiting for you. We're so excited. He's trying to, like, break through the doors or something. And Dror Ragslin's running at us, and he's going to mess us up so bad. Okay, we got to take her out and get up there. Now get her up. And get her out of the way of there. Because if we could put, like, grease or something there, then we could, like, keep him from coming up after us. How about a quick shot at her? Get him up and out of here. So even without, even with him contained, it's still a tough little group. Bernard might be strong enough for a shove attack to work. Well, hold on. Bernard. Shove. 50%. Go for it. <laughs> Wonk! Holy cat! Okay, I didn't kill him, but he's prone. Let's... Let, uh, a little bit more. Cut it to the chase. Hit him while he's down. <laughs> Get wrecked! Okay, I want to get him out of that situation. So who's concentrating on it? That's the novice. Where's the magician? That guy. I have an advantage against that guy. Let's try to take him out real quick. There. 
try to break his concentration, maybe. Concentration broken, okay. That favors the fearless. Hit that guy while he's down. I can't believe how well that worked. Oh, he's pissed. He's gonna be so pissed. They're just throwing rocks at us. Oh, he gets like two actions, okay. Crossbow plus one. Get him. We got Dror Raglan. All right, all right, all right. He's just not gonna be able to hide, is he? <laughs> yes, he is, all right. Nice. All right. All right. There is no problem we can't overcome by climbing up really high and shooting arrows down at them. Group. Uh, group. What is it? Shift C. Oh, really? Even. Even if we're going slowly. Speak with dead. Silver key, Garagsland's key, Mind Flayer, Parasite Specimen. Ooh, rare, okay. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. I don't trust these things. I'm not sure about this. Close your mind, keep the parasite out. You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. No, Santa, you're clearly bad. You can now consume Mind Flayer parasites from your inventory to unlock and develop the powers. Look out for sources of parasites in the world, including infected corpses. Okay. Embrace your potential. Nope. I don't trust these guys. Empty, empty, empty. Ooh. Hysterion? Talk. You know, if that parasite isn't to your taste, I'd be happy to consume it in your stead. I don't relish the thought, but if you're going to just leave it sitting in your pack, well, one of us should try it. I'm surprised I didn't think you'd be interested in a slimy tadpole. Sure, it's in my pack, but it's mine. Don't touch it. Ah, uh, so that's how it is. A pity. Sometimes the yes chad must say no. Between me and what I want, I will have to find a way through you. Just something to think about. Ooh. You don't know what they're going to do to you, Esther. He wants revenge on a vampire, so he wants to get illithid mind power so he can kill a vampire. How about you let me kill your vampire for you with my uh, giga chad paladin uh, powers? All right. One guy who was a coward and didn't join the fight. Let's save real quick. Animal carcass. Oh, okay. Warrior Hulk. Warrior Huck. Run to the ladder. Don't waste a step. Okay, kill and get up. Hide real quick. He's concentrating on the hex. Okay. Whoa! Shit! Okay, gotta watch out for that. Not enough movement. Alright, let him come to me. Poor Hysterion, he's the only one who got thrown around. I can't. I'm not gonna let you end the stream again. So you're gonna come on down here. Oh, a fellow uh, Eldritch Blast Enjoyer. There you are. Not Nav. Narvas. Oh, they killed a Mind Flayer and took his parasite? Man, what'd they do to him? Oh, I kind of want to see how the Paladin Oath thing turns out. So let's save, and then let's talk to Paladin Oath guy. Because I, I don't think he'll make us end the day. What does uh, breaking my paladin oaths entail? Ah, okay. The oath breaker knight. Level twelve, custodian of the fallen. 
I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. Who are you? I don't need your help, stranger. I can look after myself. The way to what? I'm in no room for riddles. Whatever you have to say, spit it out. The way to what? A journey with no end. Trodden only by the desperate and the damned. It is a path I have walked since the moment I fell. Now, you will walk it too, Oathbreaker. You swore to defend the defenseless, to stand as an emblem for all that is good and just in this world. Tell me, why did you abandon your oath? I had no choice. To follow it was to act against my conscience. I tired of doctrine drama. I wanted freedom. It was not my intentions. My actions had unexpected consequence. I know over long you see. I only knew my reasons are my alone. Okay. It was not my intention. My actions had unexpected consequence. It describes my situation perfectly. A lapse in judgment. To know the reason for your fall is perhaps to know the shape of things to come. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. Tell me more about these powers. Isn't there a way to reclaim my oath? What oath did you swear? What did you achieve after abandoning your, your oath? Uh, I'm ready. I will become an oath baker. I don't want this. I want to remain pure. Okay. Hmm. Isn't there a way to reclaim my oath? It is possible. But such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed and your soul re-pledged. It is wise to first consider what is gained and what is lost in the bargain. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. Tell me more about these powers. Darkness will obey your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even now, these shadows gather around you. They sense the cracks in your armor. They yearn to be used, to be inflicted. What else did you swear? I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. Where his light shone, my sword followed. In his name, I raised villages, put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose required such brutality, such sacrifice. But his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. I could not see the darkness and corruption of the path he led me down. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So, I ended him. For this, I was called Oathbreaker. I see. Okay. His master had him murder a bunch of people. Okay. Is the brave. <laughs> All right. It was a brave decision. It can't have been easy. Murdering your own lord. Don't want to be cast out. Did you know what it meant to break your oath like that? Do you regret betraying your oath? Regret is for those who would act differently. I feel no such desire. What's oh, past is past. We are here to discuss your future. Hmm. 
What did you achieve after abandoning your oath? I wielded the powers of darkness. He had held a candle for those who needed the light. My actions followed no teaching, apart from my own justification. Good or ill, I made my choices. Eventually, I heard the call of others who had strayed. I showed them the way, as I show you now. Hmm. Okay, not yet. You may refuse, but this alone will not restore what was lost. Without light to guide you, or darkness to consume, you will remain adrift, powerless. I will not be tainted. I will find a way to reclaim my oath. Powerless, I'll say. I need time to think about it. I will not be tainted. I will find a way to reclaim my oath. Mm. Until that day, I will be here, and my offer will remain. Now, he became an Oathbreaker because it killed a lord that asked him to murder a bunch of innocent people. So, the rules of the... Uh, it's not necessarily rules of good and evil. It's rules of lawfulness, of procedure. If you make a good but unlawful decision, they nail you. That is a heck of a swihander. Uh, I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secret. What more can you ask? Hmm. What drew you to Shar worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, <coughs> loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Tell me something about yourself, Shar. Bes uh, besides Shar, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Uh, you'll have to point out nice or night orchids to me if we ever pass some. Really? You've flown between the planes of existence, and you but you've never been swimming? <laughs> That's exactly it. Anything else you'd like to share? Well, let's try something flattering. You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass up. It's a deal. Anything else you'd care to share? No, I can't. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. Shah's secrets must be preserved above all else. All who worship her know this. I have had certain memories suppressed. Okay, I've heard this. Managed to return to Baldur's Gate <coughs> for Shah's mission. You've had your memories suppressed. It seemed extreme. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward- Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Hmm. Okay, she trusts me. She's part of some weird cult, but she trusts me at least. Uh, oh, hang on. Hey, Shadowheart, after that really uh, productive conversation, I'm kicking you out of the room. Bye-bye. If you're sure. Fine. All right. Maybe I think the guys. Where's Gail? No, he's lost most of his spells, so I'm not, I'm not going to use him right now. All right. Sorry, Gail. I'm kicking you out, and I'm grabbing Liza. Meat. Glorious meat. Let's check out this gate. Suspicious. Hello, treasure horde. Difficulty class 20. Guidance. Oh, can I just use a key? Oh, well, I'm gonna make it. Hello. I'm in the money. And gosh, it's funny. Amulet of Salune's Chosen. We'll make uh, Shadowheart wear this. Salune's Dream. Evocation cantrip. Okay. Infernal Iron. Gloves of the Growling Underdog. The winner gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. Oh, okay. Spring Step Boots. 509 gold. Uh, spring Step Boots when the wearer dashes or takes similar actions during combat. 
They gain momentum for three turns and some precious stones. Donk, all right. Empty crates. We are very encumbered. Send the potatoes to camp. That was worth it. Wooden support. Oh, okay. Like if I collapse that, could I make something happen? The wooden support, nothing happened? Oh, it just, okay, didn't show the animation. Yeah, I don't think they want me going down there. All right, I won't go this way at least. I'll try to wrap around. I know what, there's a path down there because we got kick, our asses kicked down there earlier. Let's see a ladder. Let's see if uh, what's his butt once out of there. The one Giga Chad uh, guy will help him out. Fifteen. Okay, add bonus. Oh, did I fail? Okay, I disarmed it. Lockpick. First, you have to disarm it, then you can lockpick it. As long as I don't get a one. You know McGlubbyet. Um... Trying to interrupt my prayers. Cause I'm loyal to McGlubbyet. Cause I ain't having my... McGlubbyet's looked out for me since I was knee high to a walk up. Bollocks to... What oh, do you want out? Ha! Look at where the absolute love gotten. Dead! Thanks for breaking me out. Gonna find me a new tribe. One that appreciates the old ways. There we go. We got 50 experience for helping out the racist goblin. What a giga chad. The entire world told him to worship the absolute. And he said, nah, I don't feel like it. Gotta be something interesting over here. Holy cow. Lecture potion resistance. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What have we here? What? Who's here? Where are they? Fudge. I don't know where they are. On the other side of the wall? Okay, I guess. Well, you know what always works? Uh, the ladder. The ladder always works. Okay, where's the other one? Behind, like, the wall? Why, can, why don't they ever disengage? The spot is too good. She won't come to us. Okay, gotta run all the way around there. That cat, no, you don't. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about standing on the thing. Nope. You get down. 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 You get down. There we go. Whew. That would have been three in a row. <laughs> The combat's a little clunky in places because of things with the AI and the, a, the the bad guy spotting you. But then it's like, you know, if, if you, you've got like three walls and 80 feet between you, why don't they just say, ah, screw it, and then end the combat, you know? Why can't the bad guys flee? Little tweaks like that might help. I'm going to get into another fight before I get to this person. Can't reach him, okay. Yes, I can reach him. That is so unreliable. That's a good cat. Not sitting on. She, she definitely wants to sit near the computer, but I'm not going to let her sit on the hard drive. There. I guess I could ring the war drum if I just want to bring a bunch of goblins to me. Anything interesting over here? Another one. Okay, another one of these guys. So they're scattered all over the place. Any rats? There's a rat. One move ahead. Rat, come on, come on, rat. What do you know? Foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Ooh. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. Okay, the great hollow. So the rats know about it. There's always a rat and there's always one of these signs near it. Oh, it's just teasing me with it. There's a gigantic important thing below you. Warg pen entrance, okay. Now, is that person gonna try to kill me or are they like a prisoner? That's why I didn't want to kill him earlier. What have we here? 
Uh oh. Warrior plague. Steal something. Or all right the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brig. It'll be fun. I promise. No. <laughs> One of those, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna check this out right now. There's another little area here. Night Warden Vinthara. Hello. No, she's pissed at us. Oh, she's pretty tough. Oh, is she gonna do something like break the bridge? Oh, no. Hold person. Okay, but she has to concentrate. Soul branding. Wow, she passed all of her concentration throws. Okay. Wow, her concentration's insane. Oh, gosh. What did she just do? She killed Lysel in one hit. And cooked her. Shit. Alright. So she's like a mini-boss kind of dude. Alright. Take her out. Woo. There's a parasite in that corpse. Brimming with potent magic. Um, okay. Hold on. I have... Dead... That was insane. Okay, I, I know I can help you. Here we go. What's the point of having him if I don't use him? Who? Be gone, death, you will not take me. Speak. You all right? Is it me or have you been looking at me differently? I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Uh, and what about now? And I thought you cruel, stubborn, and judgmental. Can I assume a compliment? No, she's this is setting me up for a roast. Uh, and what about now? Now? Well, you've earned my respect and more still. You've proven your wits. You are efficient and dominant in and out of battle. You've proven your courage. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon to plunge into another. And you're hardly bland. Your scent alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. If you respect me so much, then why are you such a prickly grouch? Hold on, are you coming on to me? The attraction's mutual, Azel. You know how to set my heart racing. I have just one word. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Uh, hold on, are you coming on to me? Isn't it obvious? I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later, but I want it all the same. Oh, it... you. okay. Yes, I want to share my body with you. Uh, sure thing. I've been wanting a hot gift. Yeah, you're right. I'm flattered, but the answer is no. Your loss, I fear. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. Hold on, I was just suggesting we get married, that's all. Does she have anything interesting? A war map. Elegant pen strokes trace out a map of the local area. The goblin's den is indelibly marked in greenish ink. The word Chanthar waves across the bottom where the largest river flowed. These additional locations are annotated. Caravan Goblins is scrawled to the northwest of the camp. Troll House Knowles marks the far north territory. Forest Supplies hovers over an arrow pointing to the forest just to the camp's east. Beneath in small letters, between the laurel. Ah, oh boy, clues, 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 clues everywhere. There, 57 gold. Not gonna pay for that uh, 600 300 gold uh, revivify spell, but better than nothing. That was wild. I guess it was the combination of hold the person and that, whatever that ability is, that must have been helping her make saving throws because it was insane. She was taking hit after hit. Okay, let's save. I want to see what the wardrobe does. I'm just assuming it's going to come up, bring a bunch of goblins here, right? Here we go. 
Oh, she hasn't checked the chat in a while. All right, I think it's getting late. In silence. Hit the drum. The distant chatter of the goblins explodes into angry shouting. They are running your way, swiftly as they can. Okay. How many? All of them? Any of them? Where are they coming from? Maybe if you kill all the goblins in the local area. Yeah, okay, if you get them all, then I guess maybe they don't know to come. I want to believe that Bernard was such a himbo, he didn't think about what that could entail. And then he just did it, and luckily they killed everyone first. <laughs> Fool of a duke. Throw yourself in next time, and we'll be rid of you. That is so creepy. Like Featherfall, right? Featherfall, and then we could get down there and poke around. Oral Histories of Faerun, Paladin Oathbreakers. Well, that's going to be an interesting reading to me and very relevant. All right, I'm not going to read them tonight, though, because I've been playing for a while. Okay, I think I've got everything in this little room. Your axe got broke. What? What is that? Your axe got broke. That sounds hilarious. Maglubia, your axe got broke. Your whips don't sting, your priests all croaked. Show your face and we'll take your eyes, then chop you down to goblin size. The absolute will make you kneel, beg and grovel, bleed and squeal. Heresy against Maglubia. Well, apparently Maglubia deserves it. Let's take it. Scroll of Scorching Ray. Recipe unlocked, okay. Okay, so the only thing I think we could do here is bring Featherfall and maybe come back when we're ready to figure out what this moon puzzle deal is. Rescue the Druid Halson. Dwarf poem. Rescue Volvo. Oh, okay. Okay, this is where we ran. Yeah, this is where we ran around the rosy with them. Okay. So the sarcophagus. That whole little area, which might be worth. That's probably where uh, poor, the poor guy is. I'm going to save here, and we'll explore that next time. Okay, I'm number one Marty fan. I love you guys. I will catch you later after this saves.